Oh, no, darling, not now. Wait till Mother finishes your bath. Won't be but just a minute now. What my quack quack? There. Oops, and easy. There. What my quack quack? No, darling, not now, later. Please be good. Mommy's so late and she's got so much to do. What's Mommy got to do? Well, she has to get you dressed, get you your breakfast, take you down to the day nursery. Don't want to go to the day nursery. Want to stay home with Mommy. Oh, darling, I wish you could, but you can't. Why? Because Mother has to go out and sell lots of cans of maple syrup so she can buy nice things for her baby. Don't want to go to the day nursery. Marjorie pulled my hair. She did? Well, she was a very bad girl to do that. I pulled her back harder. <laughs> well, I suppose if she pulled you first, it was all right. I pulled her first. You did? Well, then you're a very naughty little girl, and you won't go to heaven. Don't want to go to heaven. What my quack quack? I love you, and you love me, and I don't want to go to the nursery. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have an opera singer in the family, don't you? Come on, you give me a kiss. I foot. love you, and you love me, and I don't want to go to the nursery. <laughs> so. Yes, I hear it, darling. Yes. Now, you sit here and be good for just a minute, hmm? Hello? Oh, good morning, Mr. Auburn. Yes. 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 Excuse me, just a minute, please, will you? Mr. Robin, I was terribly sorry not to find you in. You see, since my husband's death, I've been carrying on his business. Mommy! Yes, dear, yes. Mommy. What, Mr. Robin? Mommy, can I come down? Yes. No, no, dear. Wait till I finish dressing you. Well, <laughs> that was just the baby. Yes, I have a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Robin. I'll have the syrup delivered to you within an hour. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Yes? And good morning. I come in answer to your advertisement for a girl. What? The advertisement would say wanted cook, laundress, housemaid colored, not afraid of hard work, moderate wages. Well, there must be some mistake. I haven't advertised for any girl. Well, ain't this Astor Avenue? Oh, no, this is Astor Street. Astor Avenue is way the other side of town. Oh. Funny I didn't notice that little avenue word. That's just my luck. What they got two streets alike for, anyhow? I don't know. I don't know what I better do. Well, there's a streetcar right there at the corner. You take that, you'll be there in about ten minutes. We have to walk. Um, all right, you wait here. I'll, I'll get you some coffee. Thank you. Something's burning. What? Oh, dear. Such a big breakfast, aren't we? 
Oh, how nice of you. Well, I see you is in such a phobic, so I just thought I'd lend a hand. Oh. <laughs> Horsey. What? Well, darling, what do you mean by saying such a thing? Horsey, nice little thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been took for many things, but I ain't never been took for that before. <laughs> well, thank you very much for all you've done. Here's your car fare, and I wish you good luck. Thank you kindly. Come on, darling. You're right sure you wouldn't need somebody for your own self now. I'm right handy with housework. And taking care of children, that just comes natural to me. I'm afraid I couldn't afford it. I wish I could. Oh, don't worry about wages if that's what's on your mind. If I could just get a home for my little girl, I'd be glad to work for just room and board. You've got a child? Yes, ma'am. That's the drawback about a job. Folks just don't want Piola. Sweet little child. <laughs> Come here, Piola. Come on. Say good morning to the lady, Piola. Good morning. Good morning, dear. <laughs> Why, she's a lovely little girl. Yes, um, she's very light. Her pappy was a very, very light colored man. Piola's a pretty nice brought up child. She ain't been dragged up like most of them is. Oh, your sweet little child. What might her name be? That's Jessie. <laughs> <laughs> And as I was saying, ma'am, if you could put up with my little girl and give her and me a roof over our heads, I'd be willing to work for almost nothing. Well, I have got a room you could use, but... Oh, don't worry about food. Piola, she don't eat nothing. She's so little. And I was very deceiving as to proportion. I don't eat like I look. It's the truth. I was very light at the table, honest. Just 200 pounds of mother fighting to keep her baby. 240, yes, um, Oh, I could get jobs all right, except them for Piola. But I just can't be separated from Piola no matter what happens. You know how it is, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I do know. Does we get to stay, ma'am? Please. <laughs> all right, we'll try it. All right. You sit right down and I'll have your breakfast ready with Jiffy. 